Welcome to Nanjing, welcome to China. I'm Liu Mei Ying, the IOC Young Reporter from China. And this is the first time all of the 35 young reporters from 24 different countries are getting together for a tour in Nanjing. And today we're getting together to know the history about Nanjing. Nanjing built in 2,600 years ago, and it has 6,000 years of history of civilization. So we did not only come to China to see Chinese history, but we also came here to learn a lot about ourselves and have a great time together. So Haiyang, tell me, how was it for you to have all these young reporters from 24 other nations here in China, in Nanjing? How was it that? I feel very, just a very brand new experience for me because I never just met so many foreign friends from five continents. You know, when I'm here uh, as a native, native um, I go around those places feeling very different because I've been with you guys. It seems like I'm in a different world. I know lots of people who came here made lots of sacrifices. They left school or work or also the mentors uh, are on vacation here. And you, T, you left your kids at home. Do you think it was worth, to co worth it to come here? Um, definitely, yes, definitely. Although I um, left my four-year-old son behind, I do think this is um, a lifetime experience, so I'm very happy I made this. In the year 1863, the Chinese historians made the city wall of Nanjing just with their own bricks. This looks like some of those ancient walls that will stay forever in their history. Just like this tanyan here that you can see is one of those modes of transport that people by that time were using to travel as their mode of transport in Nanjing. I'm Vega Skorpen, the Norwegian IOC young reporter, and I've been given the impossible task to round up our journey that's been going on for the past three weeks in only a few words. Obviously, we learned a lot about sports. We know how to read the start list, and we know how to find the arenas. But in terms of cultural understanding, we will learn even more. We've overcome language problems. We know how to grunt to make people do what you want them to. Some of us now learn how to use chopsticks. And for the future, we are well equipped to do everything that is required for us as journalists. <laughs>